Hi guys, it's Funky Buddha 0203 and first of all, let me say yes I know I look rough. But it is that time of the month and for females that subscribe to me, you must empathise because right now I feel like shit. And for the buzzing in the background, it's my fan. It's like kind of hot for England anyway, let alone Cheshire. And when it gets hot, I have now been moved into the smallest room where all the pipes run under. It's a bit traumatic where I am right now. So moving into Brunel, uh, which is the name of my private accommodation for my university, can't come soon enough. Lesbians own space, no parent. Oh, cannot wait. So anyway, so what's this video about, apart from sitting there like, at how bad my, f my face looks? I, I break out, it's the hormones, it's horrible, I can't get rid of it. Um, so, apart from being overly camp, um, this video is about gender roles within relationships. Now, I'm not even going to go into the fact that I'm gender neutral and all that blah 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 blah, because right now I'm still finding myself, because I thought I was gender neutral, I thought I was nothing, but right now, I think I might be, like, bi-gender, so I think I might be both, I don't know, it's, it's quite confusing. But that's what I love about being LGBT, is the fact that you can still find yourself at 20. So, um... So what's been happening with me so far is the fact that I've been to Manchester Pride, which was awesome. It was so nice to, like, my best friend Nat and Chris and Manisha, um, as well as my partner Emma. Like, it was so nice to experience their first Prides with them. And it was really touching, especially with Nat Nat. You know, watching the first Prides, you know, with all the uh, paramedics and all the um, fire and police officers, all these gay people saying, yeah, we're in the, you know, we're serving our country, we're saving lives and we're still proud to be gay. It's really like, it makes me cry anyway. Um, but I probably like, I think I'm getting more broody, broody because, like, booty. I think I'm getting more broody because, like, every time I see a child, like, a gay parent with a child, it just wells me up so much. It's just, like, unbelievable. So, the point of the video, <laughs> again, as I've said, is gender roles. Because what struck me is, like, when, on the rare occasion that I do talk to straight people, they always, when they're talking about me or Emma, it's like, well, you can tell you're the boy in the relationship. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm pretty sure for most of you guys, when, you know, when you come out and it's like, well, who's the boy kind of thing? And is there a boy and a girl kind of thing? Like, it happens with gay men too. And can I just say, I want to put a stop to this now. There is not. There will be times when you just find a mould where you fit each other. If, if one was just the boy and one was just the girl, believe me, nine times out of ten, you will find yourself in a very unhappy relationship. The best successful relationship will be that of flexibility. So, on the outside, now you all know what Emma looks like if you've seen my you meet the girlfriend video in thingy. You've seen my girlfriend, right? So from the outside, I look soft butch, tomboyish kind of thing, yeah? All agreed? Mm hmm Now my girlfriend is very femme. That was not even questioning in it, right? Okay? So with it comes when we lived together for six months, um, I used to fix stuff and she used to cook yeah so that was agreed and I'm the outspoken loud one and she's the quiet you know she's quite quiet but when you get her by your own on the side she's quite funny but my I also cater to the fact that when it goes to movies I will watch I love to watch stuff that will make me cry like um, I love to watch Dear John, that that makes me cry from like start to finish, you know, the little monologue with the coins and that, oh god it makes me cry so much. Whereas Emma would prefer to watch action and horror movies, she likes to be scared, she likes to watch stuff busy and you know, being busy, but I could not, you know, I prefer to cry at movies, I prefer to be like, oh, oh my god. Um, but she can't understand that. Um, but our medium where we meet halfway at films, you know, because 
Um, we either take in turns um, and we sit through it and suffer it, or we both watch superhero movies. Which, thank God, because I am quite a geek. Um, thank God that is our medium. Um, when it comes to books, um, now you'd think that I'd be the one that likes the gore. I can't stomach it personally. Emma is the one that loves the gore and the crime. She's got shelves full of the books that are like where people have been murdered and been raped and been killed and it's like, you know, murder mysteries kind of thing. You wouldn't think it, you know, looking at such a sweet girl like her. But she, she loves it. She really does. Whereas me, I prefer my romance novels. Right now, I am reading Ellis Island, um, a book of self-discovery, and I can't put it down, like, obviously I put it down for the video, but, like, it's it's always in the back of my mind that I need to read it, and I'm on chapter 12, and I started reading it today, which is very strange for me, because I like to take my time with stuff. Um, so, yeah. You know... Obviously, when we're walking down the street, and when it comes to like, you know, being around, you know, being outside, I'm the male. Like, you know, if anyone says anything to Emma, I'm, you know, I got Alpha. I'll, you know, I'll square up to him. I'll, you know, I will not. I'm so territorial. It is stupid. I am like Alpha lesbian. Like, wah. But um, Emma's the quiet one. But um. So I'm just saying it's a bit of flexibility. Um, I know this mo this video seems a bit weird and it seems a bit off the cuff, but uh, meh, that's me. Um, I will be moving next week, next Saturday, hopefully, touch wood, that I will be in student halls with all my friends. Yes! And I'll be back on the scene. Um, where does this channel leave us? I will continue to vlog more than twice a week. That is a fact for people that did actually watch me in my first first year of uni when I was in halls. I always vlogged because I had nothing to do. Um, so I've also been podcasting and I also blog these days. You know, I'm trying to get my podcasting on iTunes, but it's not working right now. So, um, if you've got any topics for me to discuss, or would you like to get in touch, please comment, please like it, please, please, please. Um, I will probably be vlogging tomorrow as well, because I've got nothing to do and it's driving me insane. Um, so, I will see you tomorrow. Peace.